If you could just imagine for just a moment this scenario. There's a field that's prepared and cultivated and ready for seed. And then on the edge of that field is thorns and weeds and, and stuff that hasn't been cultivated. And then next to that is the stony ground and next to that is a path where people walk. All right. The wayside, the path, how does a path become a path? Just help me here. You walk on it. How do you get a hard heart? By getting walked on. Someone walked on you and walked on you and walked on you and walked on you and used you and abused you and walked on you and you got a hard heart. And so you were resistant to the word. And so when the seed falls on you, the devil just comes and takes it away and there's no resistance at all because the seed, there's no, there's no root system. There's nothing, there's nothing for it to adhere to. There's nothing, no way for it to grow because it's hard. And that's how people get hard hearts because they, they've been walked on in life. Okay? So that's the hard ground, the wayside, the path. Now, next to the path is the stony ground. How did the stony ground become stony ground? Well, people walking on the path would kick the rocks off to the side. So how did the stony ground become stony ground? It got kicked to the side. So people who have been kicked to the side, who have been neglected and rejected, that's why they have such a low tolerance for rejection. Jesus said they have no root in themselves. Afterwards, when affliction and persecution comes because of the word, they wither. Because they don't have any strength, they don't have any root system, and they don't have any resistance to the rejection. They have fear of rejection because they've been kicked to the side. They've been cast aside. That's the stony ground. They have hard spots. And it hinders the seed. You know, get, it, it starts getting a little bit of a root system, and it tries to grow, but there's all this other stuff in the way. Rejection and fear of rejection won't let it bloom and blossom and grow. Okay? So you've got the wayside, the path of hard ground that's been walked on. You've got the stony ground that's made up of hard spots that have been kicked to the side. Then, next to that, you've got the thorny ground. It's weeds, it's thorns, it's stickers. And the only thing with the stony ground, or the thorny ground, you know, thorns creep in. You know, nobody plants thorns. You know, oh, what are you planting in your field? Thorns. Going to have a thorn crop. Nobody plants thorns. How many of you have weeds in your yard? Did you plant them? No. What? You didn't plant them? How did they get there? They entering in. That's what Jesus said. Entering in, choke the word. Thorns entering in, choke the word. Weeds entering in, choke the word. And what is he talking about? The cares of this world, the deceitfulness of riches, the lusts of other things, entering in, choke the word. What is that? That's a cluttered life. It's someone who's got so much stuff, their eyes are on so many different things that it's very difficult for them to have the word adhere to their heart because they're full of things. You know, they're full of care. Oh, got to make this person happy. Oh, I, I need to go buy one of these. Oh, you know, and they're, they're, their life is full of stuff instead of full of the word. Okay, now, then there's good ground. Good ground's been cultivated. All right? The good ground has been dug up. The good ground has, the rocks have been removed. The good ground has been weeded. The weeds and the thorns have been taken out. What is the difference between the good ground and all the other ground? Work. Work. That's all. Work. Somebody took the time and made the effort to make the good ground good. That's the only difference. The wayside, dirt. Stony ground, dirt and stones. Thorny ground, dirt and thorns. Still dirt. But when somebody takes the time and makes the effort to dig up the ground, to remove the stones, and to remove the thorns by taking the word and working it in their lives, then you've got good ground then the seed can be sown in it. And then it'll make all the difference in the world. Now, why is this important? Because I feel like there's a lot of believers, even right now, probably not you guys because you go to church here, but there's a lot of believers that are sowing seeds and it's not bearing fruit and they don't know why and there's all this other stuff going on. But 
They're casual about the word. They're not strategic about it. They don't get into the word and take the word and apply it to their children and apply it to their marriage and apply it to their job and apply it to their finances and apply it and apply it and apply it. That is working the word. You know when the Bible says be a doer of the word and not a hearer only? A doer of the word is not being good and being nice and being polite and behaving yourself. Being a doer of the word is taking the word like a tool and using it on your life. 